us having a good time here today. We're getting ready to do some fancy cooking. Now this is some stuff what? you can prepare while you're out there in, 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 at a party, a summer party, a tailgate party on the beach or wherever you want. If you got your little cooking stuff, just bring it on out. You can do your thing. Yeah. Right now what we're going to do today, we're going to make a potato wrap. And this will fit on between two pieces of bread and make you a good sandwich. Or you can just eat it like it is. Now I'm going to show you how I prepare this. You need toothpicks and a little salt. We're going go over here. A little rough. Let me tell you something first. Now, the grease getting hot. I'm going to tell you after a while. Okay. Anyway, you got some potatoes that you slice. And you can see. Then, you got some bacon. You wrap your bacon around your potato. As such, put your toothpick through there. My grease right now is at 225. I'm going to drop it in my grease and let it start frying. I'm going to make two of these. And you know your kids can make these too, yeah. All you got to do is supervise them, make sure they don't get too greasy with the bacon. And of course, you all do the cooking. Run the toothpick through there. Let it fry. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a little joke. They had Boudreaux and his wife Clotilde. And Clotilde, she was kind of down. He was so upset. So Boudreaux went ahead and he took her to the doctor. He said, I'm going to take her to a psychiatrist. So he took her to the psychiatrist. And the psychiatrist talked to her. He said, you know, she, tell me what's wrong, Clotilde. So Clotilde told him, my husband don't listen to me. He just don't care. Uh, he tells me my clothes don't look good. He says I'm getting fat. He said my hair's too long. My hair's not thick. And she went on and on and on and on. So the doctor said, stand up, Clotilde. Come here. So he grabbed Clotilde and he kissed him. Oh, he kissed him for about five minutes. And old, old Boudreaux looking at him, his eyes wide open, huh, and he stopped. He said, okay. And when he finished, Clotilde was smiling. And he told Boudreaux, he said, listen, you need to do that at least three times a week. So Boudreaux said, well, I can drop her off Monday and Wednesday, but Friday I got a fish. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's cooking right now. I got a new camera girl, by the way. Little tip. Let's see how this is working right now. See the bacon and the potatoes frying real good together. That's why I call that my potato wrap. Now pretty shortly, the bacon's going to be real crispy and the potatoes going to be cooked through and through. And I always try to use a white potato, an Idaho potato, or a russet potato, because they cook a little bit faster than an Irish potato. Nothing against the Irish or the red potatoes, but they do cook a little faster. But they each, you know, are different. Let my bacon fry a little bit more. Something else we're going to be doing today. We're going to have a special. Today we'll be frying potatoes along with seasoning. And you might say, well, that's just some old fried potatoes. Well, it's not. So by the time I'm finished and you finish with this, when you put that out on your tailgate or on your picnic table with some toothpicks and mustard and barbecue sauce, people are going to be going and test everything. Speaking about barbecue sauce, it's one of my future shows. I'm going to show you what to do when you run out of barbecue sauce. 
It just takes a few little ingredients and you got the best barbecue sauce in the world. Now, right now I'm going to take this potatoes out of here. The bacon is real crispy, crispy, crispy. And I'm going to take the other one out. Again, the bacon's crispy, crispy, crispy. And I'm going to set that on the side right here. Now, while that's cooling, I got some more potatoes. My grease is still hot, which I'm going to lower right now, as a matter of fact. Put my potatoes in there. I'm just going to let that fry up a little bit. Now, while that's frying, I'm going to show you something. Take your potato wrap, take out your toothpick, make sure you do that now, you don't want to get hurt. Put that on a piece of bread, like that. I like a little salt on mine. And you got yourself a real good bacon potato sandwich. And this is wonderful. A little hot, but dang good, dang that good. Mm. Mm. If I had a cold one out here right now, whether it be Coca-Cola or Orange Pop or a Saxon Street Brewery Brew, Whatever I might be deciding to drink, I'll be drinking it right now. Alright, now, smoke sausage. I put smoke sausage in with those potatoes. And just let them cook. That fire climbed up to about 300, but that's good. That's why I wanted that. Now I'm going to throw me in an onion. It's a half an onion. I want to float that with those potatoes. And then Smoke sauce. I like hot smoke sauce. So this is getting good. Let me crank up my little fire one more time. I'm at 275. Now I'm going to put some bell pepper. You can see I don't need a knife out here. You have to, you're having a tailgate party. Or, or, or you're on the beach. You know, do the do what you do. You don't have no knife police and silverware police. Look at that girl. She's frying up a storm. Would my camera girl like one of these? Yeah, yeah, no thanks. 
Okay. You have to edit that. <laughs> you should have said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Quiet on the set. Mm -hmm. Quiet on the set. You want me to cut it since you're not talking right now? Yeah, I want that to fry. All right, now the bell pepper's cooking, the potato's cooking, the sausage is cooking, the onion is cooking. Look at that. It's all going good. That's a little summer afternoon thing. Now, mushroom. I'm going to throw in some big mushrooms. For those that like it, they can eat them. For those that don't like them, they take them out. Let that cook a little bit. And it don't take long. It don't take long to do any of this. It's been cooking about 10 minutes. Once you get your grease hot, and you're ready to go. This is what's going to happen. In the future, I'm going to be making some big wine. I got a great big fig tree on my five acres, and it's waiting for me to pick the figs. I guess in two weeks, I'm, it's just starting to do them. I'm going to get out there and pick my figs, and I'm going to make some fig wine, because uh, Saxon Street Brewery and Winery will be in wine business in about three to six months. That's when it'll be ready, but it'll be good to drink in six months. For those that like a little glass of wine with your meal, that's a good deal there. Fig wine is perfect, very tasty. I like to keep this stirred up a little bit. I don't like nothing to burn. Boy, I'm staying right there at 275 and it's cooking good. The potatoes are cooking in and the smoked sausage is throwing its flavor out there. And you got the bell pepper throwing its flavor out there. And the onions throwing its flavor out there. And God almighty, I just can't wait for this meal. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's looking good. So about right now, you're sitting down on your tailgate, and you got your little TV on if you can't get in the game because you can't afford the dang ticket. So you're watching your game. Your favorite sport is on right now. You're getting your ice jets. You get your good Saxon Street Brewery brew. Pop it open, and you watch all the suds come out and the foam come out. You pour that in your glass, and it suds on over because it's so good. Oh, you're drinking that, watching TV, and all the while your lady got your stuff going for you. Because you know, you got your meat and your veggies all in one. It's not a big trouble. You can put that together and all, put it in the container, bring it with you, put some grease on it. It's been cooking a while. I'm gonna go ahead, take it out, and strain it. Looking good. Hey! Well, Urban Treasure Hunter was supposed to come around. I guess he's gonna wait till I'm finished cooking. That's the way he does, though. You know, he's always busy, busy, busy into something. Heard it was after Sam Bass's gold and gold coins, and the next thing I hear, he's going over there in, in, in Death Island, and he asked me to go over there and and and, and run the the. the the chef cooking farm 
Do they can eat while they're out there. I just don't know about my schedule though. But I'm thinking hard. I might bring Johnny with me. All right, I'm gonna cut the fire off. I like bell pepper. And I like fried potatoes. And I'm definitely a mushroom man. And maybe a few onions. Smoked sausage is good. Tell you what, I got this going right now. I'm going to get me a cold one and I'm going to relax now. Y'all have a good one. This is Chef Bocasi. Until next time. Aye!